This is problem 18 of uh, chapter 17 of John Cody 6 edition. So the question is, what is the electric potential, which is a distance of 2.5 10 to minus 15, so let me write this distance here, 2.5 10 to minus 15 meters away from a proton. So my charge here is a proton, so 1.602 10 to minus 19 coulomb. Okay. So we want to know what is the electric potential that uh, we have around this proton at this distance. No? So the, the, the proton creates around itself an electric potential, we want to know its value. So this is easy, we just need to use, so this is part A of the problem, we just need to use the, the equation for potential, so K, that constant that you have, the charge of the particle, is the proton in this case, and how far away we are. So remember that in this kind of problems, we need to take into account the sign of this uh, charge. No? So the sign of the charge matters, in this case it's just positive, so um, no big deal here. Okay, so this is the first question. Then comes the second. The, quest the second question is, what will be uh, what is the electric potential energy? So now they want to know what is the electric potential energy of this whole system when I bring at this distance of 2.5 10 to minus 15 meters another proton. Okay, so what is the issue? Here initially I had my, my little proton, uh, we, we had the potential around it, now I'm going to bring another proton and put it at this distance here. Now this R here is that value that we had, 2.5 10 to minus 15 meters, and we want to know now what is the electric potential energy of this whole system, this whole system with two protons. Okay. All right, so remember that potential energy, potential energy is the charge multiplied by the potential, okay? And uh, we, where do we want this potential energy? Well, uh, the potential energy of what? Of these two charges. So one charge already created a potential, no? so is the KQ of the original proton divided by R, and now we are bringing into play a new proton, a new Q. Okay? And that's all we have to do, right? So just uh, multiply this potential that we already co computed in part A, by this new proton that we brought to the store. So this will be the potential energy and will be given in joules.